Hello everyone, my name is Ellie and I'm a naturalist intern here at the Clark County Park District. And can anyone guess on what we're talking about today? The skunk. Um, so to start off, let's talk about some general information about the skunk. Um, it's a mammal found primarily in the Western Hemisphere, so it starts up in Canada, goes through the United States, down into Northern Mexico. Um, they live in multiple different habitats, including the desert, forests, and mountains. The skunk family is actually composed of 11 different species, um, but the most common one that you've seen is the one that I have here today, and that's the striped skunk. While most are black and white like this one, there are some that can be brown, cream, or ginger colored, so you might have seen these out in the wild. Um, the striped skunk is recognizable by its black body and its white stripe. So you see that it has mostly a black body and then a white stripe that's like a V down its back and then it also has um, a white bar in between its eyes right here. So most skunks are about the size of a house cat but some can be much smaller. So skunks are primarily nocturnal which means that they are active during the nighttime. Um, so if you've ever been driving and you see a skunk run out in the middle of the road, that's when it's being active, is the nighttime. Um, they have a vast diet. They eat rodents, insects, eggs, birds, and plants, which means that they are omnivores, um, which means that they eat both plants and animals. Um, humans might classify skunks as scavengers, meaning that the skunks like to seek garbage or dead animals left behind by something else. So they won't do the dirty work, they'll just come up and clean up after it. <laughs> um, pet owners might have experience with skunks trying to find their pet's food or water. So what you can do to help prevent that is to keep your pet's food indoors and not outside where the skunks can get it because that will attract them. Um, now onto the trait that everyone knows about and that would be the skunk's odor. Now skunks use extremely well-developed scent glands to release a terrible odor when threatened. The skunk, um, the scent is found in the anal glands which are located underneath the skunk's tail and is composed of sulfur containing chemicals. If you've ever smelled sulfur, it smells really bad. Um, skunks carry enough of this chemical for six sprays so after their sixth spray they have to replenish um, the chemical and it takes about 10 days to do that. The skunks can aim their spray with muscle control and it can come out in either a cloud or a stream. So if the skunk's being chased by a predator and it can't see the predator it will probably spray out a cloud because it doesn't know where it is. But if the skunk can see the predator, then it'll do a stream right in the predator's eyes so that it um, distracts them and they can get away. The range of their spray is more than six feet, and this spray will deter the predators long enough for the skunk to get away. It also causes irritation and temporary blindness for the predator. Um, the smell is so powerful that the human nose can detect it for 3.5 miles. That's crazy. That's a really long distance. Um, the Humane Society of the United States recommends treating dogs using a mixture of dilute hydrogen peroxide, baking soda, and dishwashing liquid. You may also have heard of using um, tomato juice to get out the smell from your dogs if they get sprayed. Um, skunks won't go after your dogs necessarily, but if they feel threatened, then that's when they spray. Um, despite this unique system of defense, skunks are still eaten by many different animals, including owls, hawks, eagles, coyotes, foxes, dogs, mountain lions, and sometimes even humans. The last thing that I'm going to talk to you about real quick is keeping skunks as pets. Now, it's legal in 17 states to keep skunks as pets, but when skunks are kept as pets, they usually have their scent glands, their scent glands surgically removed um, by a veterinarian. So it's rare for a healthy skunk to bite a human, but not unheard of. Um, they may carry the rabies virus, 
um, and biting can transmit it to humans. So it's just something to be aware of if you're keeping a skunk as a pet or know someone that is, or if you see a skunk um, and try to get close to it. But thank you for listening to my talk on skunks. I hope you enjoyed it and you can go ahead and check out our other videos on our channel. Have a great day.